All right, so now we're back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over into GitHub and we are going to create our new repository here. In this particular case, I'm gonna call this CWRGM pardons. And we're going to, it's gonna say whether or not you already have something called that. I most certainly do not. Um, and so then what I can do is I can say, well, that I can give it a description. I can say that this is a web map showcasing the part ends for larceny um, in Mississippi during Civil War and Reconstruction. And again, give it a better description. All this metadata is useful. And so I can say yes, I'm gonna add a readme file. Readme files are important so that you can add in other information. And then I'm also going to give this some sort of license. Um, most of these licenses that they have here are a variety of a public license. So you can take a look and see what you want. Um, so I'm just gonna have a general public license in this particular case, but it is up to you how you want that. You can also have a different license if you want. Um, but you'll have to be clear about what that license is. And so then it's going to give me all of those different things. And so then from here, the thing that I need to do is I need to upload all of my files in the order that they are into my repository. And so I'm gonna head to QGIS web and I'm going to go into the data set that it created. So this is the web map it created. I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna copy everything and then I'm going to put it all in here. And so you can ignore this. Um, and it's going to upload all of the things. Now, if you did that and you just highlighted it all and copy pasted it, then all of the information, so you can see all of the JavaScript in here, all of the things, all of the CSS, your index file, all of the things should in theory be where they're located. There shouldn't need to, you shouldn't need to adjust that, but make sure that that is actually the case. Now, when you commit your changes, it's always a good idea. So this was the first upload of the pardons web map. This just allows you to keep track of all the changes you make and lets other people know um, which ones they are as well. And so you can, in this case, we're not going to have more than one branch. Um, and so I'm just going to commit those changes. It's going to take a while to process those files. So I'm going to pause the video. Oh, nope. It did the thing. All right. So this in theory uh, means that your, all of your folders should be where they are. And so that's good. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to head over into settings. And under the settings, you should be able to create a archive of this. So once you get in here, what you can do is you can head on up to, at the top here, it says pages. And so this pages uh, will allow you to create a page where you can actually see that web map. So right now it says deploy uh, from a branch. Uh, you want to deploy this from your main and you want to save that. And so it's going to give you some sort of domain that's attached to this. And so it's currently being built. So we'll come back in a couple of minutes so that you can see what this web map looks like. But this will give you an actual URL that you can then use to import into your website. So once you have uh, given it a bit of a minute to load, then you will say, see that your site is live. So you can open that up in a new tab and you can see that it's gonna pop up as your web map looked. And so this is gonna be that URL and you can see and have all of your things. And so now you have an interactive web map that you can send to wherever you like, right? So that is how you can create your website. Now, one of the other nice things about this is I can go over here because this can be a little bit difficult for non-GitHub users to find. 
And so I can then head back to my main page of the repository, go into the about section and put this into my URL here. And then this means that if anyone ever comes to this repository, it shows up here. And that means that my web map is very findable in this case uh, because it's on my front page. So again, this is just nice if you happen to have something that is, or are sending this to people who aren't super familiar with GitHub um, and you want to let them know how they can find those things. And so then you can also take a look and obviously this is not a very readable thing at the moment. So I can edit my page over here and I can say something that is gonna make this uh, nicer down here. So I can put in all of my descriptions uh, and metadata, yada, yada, yada. I can write all of the things. Um, I can make sure that I commit my changes, right? And so you can see that all of my descriptions are made here. So that is, uh, now you have a functional web page and uh, I will show you how to integrate this into Wix very soon. Thank you so much.